All right, y'all. Welcome back to the Rolling Grill. Today we got brisket point. This is the fatty end of the brisket. We're gonna go ahead and trim it up, get it cooked up, smoked up, burnt ends. Here they come. Yeah, boy. All right, y'all, first things first, you got to trim it down. It's a lot of fat on this deckle end of uh, the point of the brisket. So uh, instead of boring you with me trimming it, I'm going to go ahead and speed through this. But y'all stay tuned. All right, now that I have this trimmed up, you can see it's still a lot of fat in here. This deco point is really fatty. I'm going to go ahead and spray it down with some cooking spray, or you can rub it down with olive oil, or you can, you know, rub it down with Worcestershire sauce. Whatever you want to do, it's really up to you. And then it's time to season it. And this is basically my uh, QQ dust seasoning uh, with extra uh, black pepper in it. And I'm just going to season it up real good. This is a fatty piece of meat. It can take a lot of seasoning. Don't be bashful. Don't be shy. Just get into it. And, you know, of, of course, you got to season both sides of the meat. And that's pretty much it. All right, y'all, these are the smoking woods we're using. We're using oak and we're using cherry. There is that beautiful brisket point. We're getting ready to put that thing on the smoker right now. All right, let's grab that. All right, we got a combination of charcoal and our oak and cherry, and we're going right on there. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see the striations going this way. So when we cut it, it's gonna be going that way. Right now we're running probably about 290. We're gonna try to keep it right there. Y'all stay tuned, we got brisket point coming up. Yeah, boy. All right, y'all, we are hour and a half in. And that's what we're looking like right there. Excuse all the noise, we got kids and everything out here, but let's go ahead and clip that thing. Look at the juices, man. Look at it. That thing beautiful. I'm, I almost don't want to flip it, but I am. There we go, we're gonna let it go for another hour and a half, then we're gonna do something special to it. Y'all stay tuned. Yeah, boy. All right, so that's what we're looking at. Three hours later. Three hours later, this is what we're looking at. Beautiful bark, you got a little pool in the top. And it's ready to go. So all we're gonna do is take this thing off. Try not to drop any of that good juju. And I'm gonna lay it right there in a foil pan. It's actually an aluminum pan. I got a little brisket mop right here. I'm gonna pour that on there. And some in the pan. And I'm gonna wrap it up in foil and put it back on the pit. So y'all stay tuned. All right, we got it wrapped up, back on the pit. We're gonna let it roll for about another hour and then we'll check it again. All right, y'all, that brisket point is ready. Ready, ready, ready. I tempt it out, it's at, it's at like 209, which is perfect for what I'm trying to do. But that thing is ready, so I'm gonna take it off, let it rest. And then I'm gonna show you how to make some good slices and even some burnt ends out of that thing, so y'all stay tuned. All right, in the competition world, you gotta get you one of these big old long spatulas. If you're doing competitions, you gotta get you at least about two of these. That way you can just pick that thing up just like this and take it straight to your cutting surface. Let it slide on off and let it rest. And I'm gonna show y'all exactly how to get them good burnt ends those slices baby and i'm also going to be using uh ricky farmer's meat stall meat frosted good stuff man this is the original one he sent me the spicy one too i'm gonna go with the original one today and then i'm gonna dust it with my grilling dust this right here is a carolina red sauce i use so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna mix a little bit of that that i got left 
with the beef frosting and that's what i'm gonna dress out my burn ends with all right just a quick fyi you see all that goodness right there do not throw it out if you can put it in a degreaser separate the grease from the good juice and pour this back over your slices all right, y'all, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and use some of Ricky Farmer's meat frosting. What I'm gonna do is mix it in there with uh, that Carolina red sauce. And this is what we're gonna mop the burn ends with. I don't sauce slices, I just use natural juice for the slices, but whenever I do burn ends, I always glaze them up with a nice little sauce. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, the grains are running the grains are running this way. So we're gonna cut this way. And I'm gonna start with this little piece right here. Look at that. Let me cut another little slice. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Look at that. That's that point right there. See the good fat break real good. This is the best part of the brisket, man. This is the most prized part of the brisket. So let me go ahead and get this cut up and we'll be right back. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how we do burn ends. Like in competition, this is how I used to do my burn ends. I would turn to the side, I would make sure I get all the end pieces off, and I would kind of square it up. And then I'm taking about, about a one inch. I usually use a ruler if I was doing competition. And this is all I'm gonna do. Make sure that they're all even. And then what you do, you keep them all together and you go back over them. And you cut about another one inch cube. All right. And if you needed to, you could just square them off so they're all the same size. But basically, this is what you're looking for in a burning right here. See how they're all about the same size? That's what you're looking for in a burning. And, and then in competition, what we do is take a rack, and before we put them on the rack, we would drop them off in the sauce, sauce them all up, and put them on the rack, just like that. Sauce them all up, put them on the rack, just like that. And that's how we would do it in competition. So let me go ahead and sauce these up and I'm going to throw them in the smoke and show y'all exactly what we do. So for competition purposes, what I would do is I would take them, put them right back in the smoker, just like that and let them glaze up. That's what we're gonna do right now. All right, y'all. That's what we're looking at right there. This is the end result of that brisket point. And I still got the burn ends on the smoker. This is just extra burn ends and ends of some slices that come off of that brisket point. All right, and to add that extra last little punch of flavor, don't forget to dust them. You gotta dust them. You know, with your barbecue seasoning or whatever your favorite barbecue seasoning choice is, but you gotta dust the meat, man. And that's it, y'all. Beautiful beef brisket. All right, folks, there you have it. That's that brisket point. Man, look at the slices on there. Look at the burnt. Look at the smoke ring, man. Look at the, look at the bark. And these are just extra burn ends I didn't sauce. You know, it's up to you if you want to sauce or not sauce. Those are the ones unsauced. And then when you open the smoker, these are the ones I would use for competition. These are the ones that sauce, man. So as always, man, good food, good vibes. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Yeah, boy.